Hello YouTubers, this is Miguel here and I'm off today with a review about a very classic fragrance very original fragrance actually by the house of Van Cleef and Old Pels its name is Pouron which is this fragrance and it was created in 1978 and launched the same year by perfumist Louise Monet French guy <coughs> Um, now, it's described as a shipper leather. And uh, I'll start off with the bottle. You can see that this, this is the bottle here. It's a squirt block, dark, and it's very good because it doesn't allow the um, light to go in. So that's very good for the vintage bottles, which contains well and keeps fresh the juice okay now <clears throat> well um, for those of you who don't know Van Cleef and Appels is a jewelry firm and it's located in the center of Paris and was created in 1906 it's in Place Vendôme a very beautiful venue they are very expensive and it's very famous around the world Van Cleef and Appels being this their first male perfume their first female perfume was first, and it was created, I think, a couple of years before this one. So they did a, a, a lot of work in this perfume to create a very good uh, fragrance for men. So what can I say? Yeah, um, this perfume belongs to an era of perfumes that they were very complex, they were very strong, they were very powerful. They contained a lot of notes. They were sort of very animalic as well, very um, musky, very deep. And it's very difficult to say it smells this note or another note. It's sort of a mixture of notes and you get the main bouquet of this perfume. It as well changes a lot uh, since you apply it till 12 of yeah 12 hours later it's still there and it's a different perfume so uh, but we'll get to that point um, I will tell you the um, the notes that are listed in Fragrantica okay those are just out of uh, bergamot basil margarine and juniper those are top notes so what do we get the we get a fresh top notes bergamot and combined with um, marjoram and basil. Marjoram it's a sort of green herbal, green herbal and it's used for the immune system. It's a sort of balsamic thing, sort of calming. So it's a greenish uh, citrus, bright top notes. Um, middle notes, heart, is jasmine, patchouli, carnation, vetiver and cedarwood. So it's a very flowery, uh, beautiful flowery and um, a little spicy uh, middle notes. So it's, it's very nice actually, it's very beautiful. They're very nicely combined, all those. And then uh, the base notes, which are very, very, very deep and very heavy. And that's where it really like the heavy metal comes in. And that it's leather moss or libanum, labdanum, castorum, amber, and musk. Those are the, the, the base notes. And uh, yeah, so you can see it's sort of very leathery, it's animalic. Um, yeah, it's musky, it's, it's, it's really, really strong, you know, really, it's a really great base for, for those middle and top notes. So anyway, now, I would like to say something that might be interesting, which is the the advertising of the of the fragrance. Okay, when it first came out, something that really in most reviews about perfumes nobody really touches this part. But it's interesting because here you see what was this sort of intended for. <clears throat> so the, some some uh, fragrances they look like they're very sensual, others they are very classy, others. So I'll tell you what the, uh, the idea of this was. They hired um, a French 
uh, musician, jazz musician, composer, and um, songwriter, jazz musician called Serge Gainsbourg. Now that guy was a sort of very thin guy, small with a sort of uncomfortable, uh, sort of looking a little troubled all the time. And um, it was the kind of person that you would see in the late night uh, jazz clubs in in Paris. So it's so far a little sort of suburban feeling. Um, yeah, so his songs were sort of uh, provocative, satiric, you know, th this kind of idea. Yeah, so it's this kind of thing that you would... Uh, you would think about it like in a in a in a dark place with a low light and uh, with a lot of uh, smoke around, and sort of this kind of idea. Uh, small round tables, yeah, that, that's the thing. Late night, as I told you, that's the idea about this. And uh, well, I'll speak to you about the different uh, formulations. Okay, so. Um, the current formulation, I don't own it now, I don't own it, but it's a one you can find everywhere, okay? But I'll speak to you about the the vintage formulas. So, um, yeah, so it came out in 1978, and the first formula, it was an old Colonia, and it was bottled in a, in a sort of a squirt bottle, not a rectangular like that one, but a squirt. It was another Colonia, and it was, I think, in 50 ml, 100 ml, and 200 ml. 